Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video guide for Arc Genesis. Today in this one, I'm going to be showing you folks how to build a taming skiff. Now this obviously will be used for the purposes of taming an Astrocetus or in other words, the space whale. And I'm going to show you what I think is the best design for it. Now for this, of course, you'll need several bits and pieces. We're going to need a taming skiff and you can only unlock this once you've defeated the boss on Genesis. So obviously that means you cannot really tame a Astrocetus until you've done that as you also need to craft a saddle for it. So once you've done that and you want yourself an Astrocetus, I am going to show you uh, what I think is the best design for the purposes of using the skiff to tame space whales. So obviously we'll start with the Astrocetus. We're going to place down some foundations. We want to center it as best as we can. We want to straighten it as best as we can. Now there are several things that you need to keep in mind. And the first thing is uh, if you don't center it, it's just going to look really derpy. And obviously you need to find a safe place to do this. It's better if you do it before you actually launch the skiff as it will do that hovering animation which does move pieces around so for the purposes of getting it as straight as possible which is one of my little OCDs in the game I like things to be straight I tend to do this when it's not launched now I do use markers on the sides of the skiff so as you can see right there next to the um, I suppose uh, cockpit of it it's not perfectly straight so I'm not quite happy with it I'll pick it up you cannot do this as you would with a raft where you grab the rudder and place it and I'll show you that in a bit I'll show you exactly what happens if you try and use this mechanic so I did move the camera angle I'll just re uh, redo this and it tends to put it underneath so that doesn't really work that way now I haven't placed any element in it for that reason I don't want it to hover it is slightly crooked but I mean, the surface I've put it on is not the best. It's not flat, but whatever. We'll have to work with that. So this may take a while until I fiddle about with it and get this first foundation straight. After that, it is pretty straightforward. The skiff is quite useful. And uh, one thing that I've noticed for you guys to, to bear in mind is when you teleport from one biome to another it does not teleport the skiff with you so do keep that in mind if the skiff is in hover mode and you teleport uh, I've noticed sometimes on and off that the skiff will turn off and just land wherever so that's another thing to bear in mind now obviously this trap that I'm going to show you this taming skiff it will protect the cannon but it won't protect the skiff there are certain limitations with what you can put on the skiff or how far out you can go so you can't really encase it i have tried doing that it didn't work out quite well so let's get this foundation sorted this is one that's going to take the longest after that it is pretty straightforward okay so this is what it looks like on this end so that's what i use i use the lines on that section where you pretty much mount the skiff, so to speak. And I just realized I've placed the ceilings, didn't I? Yeah, okay. So once you place down your foundation, then you want to go with three foundations outwards. As you can see, I've accidentally placed down ceilings. But that's fine. We'll just pick these up and place down three foundations. So that's pretty much it for the foundations. So technically, you only need three foundations. Then go to the tip and then just surround it with foundations all the way around you do want to go backwards one extra and you'll see why in a bit now very important here to know is that if you do want you can sink the foundation I do recommend that you sink the foundation and if you're gonna use it for the purposes of taming a space whale then you might want to use metal or tech once you do that you want to place down some walls and as you can see sometimes it can be derpy so you want to leave the first and last ceilings open and you'll see why we're gonna go too tall on this one if 
Okay, got some more walls right here. So two tall is perfect. Then we'll place one ceiling there and then one ceiling on this side. Go with another one out. That is going to give us the space we need to protect us from the space well hitting the cannon. Very important. The cannon is quite expensive to craft, so you don't really want that to be damaged. One in the middle and then one outwards and this is for the purposes of jumping so if we get stuck on the structures you won't do this basically you won't jump off the skiff i mean you can land back on it but that is just time consuming as you can see you have a bit of a bounce when you do land back now this is the general build this is the simplest build that you can make if you want it I will show you several variations to this. So after this, I will place down some large storage boxes. You can't place vaults down. I have tried that. So the best thing to do is go with the large storage box because you can put more stuff in it. I'm going to go down with two of these. I do like them to be as symmetrical as possible. So I do try and keep that in mind when I'm placing these down. They can be sometimes a bit derpy in terms of where the game allows you to place them down. Next up, we will need a generator and a refrigerator and some air cons as well. So I'm going to go with the air cons. I'm going to place them at all four corners of the skiff. Now, this will help us to deal with the cold. As you can see, I am freezing, which will affect my food and water and stuff like that so we do also want to give us the extra shelter protection place down another aircon again I'm gonna show you several variations here as well so as you just saw there you can mount the skiff quite easily from pretty much anywhere which is good I did get stuck there it does happen it doesn't always happen so that is why you have that ceiling there in case you need to jump to get onto the base of the skiff or the um, cannon area. I'm just having a look around, making sure no asteroids fall. You do want to do this in a safe place because if you don't and you do get hit by asteroids, it will wreck your skiff and everything on it. So keep that in mind. Also, it's a good idea to leave your skiff somewhere where it is protected by the environment because whilst you're away you don't want to lose it especially if you've invested all the resources in building this trap whether it's metal whether it's tech it makes no difference they are still expensive things to lose so i'm going to try and place this aircon right there symmetrical to the other one i'll do this now bear in mind when I place it this way, the uh, part of the aircon that blows will be towards the exit. So I want to spin it around kind of like that. And I'm going to use the patterns on the tech uh, structures to kind of line it up. So now that's sorted. It sounds like we have an asteroid shower by the looks of it. And judging by the animation, I should be safe here. Next up, I want the refrigerator and I want the generator as well. So I'm going to start with the refrigerator. Now, we've got these things right there that is just under the refrigerator. So I'll try and place it on top of that. Uh, it does create a bit of snag when you walk over it. So I kind of want to cover it up. It's okay. It's not perfect. It'll do. We will do a generator. Uh, I have tried placing a tech generator, but I was not able, so we can do this with a normal generator. That does mean we need a vertical cable and an outlet, so we'll do that as well once the generator is placed. And it should power up everything that is electrical on the skiff. Now, I said earlier that it is a good idea to sink the foundations once or twice. Any more than that is not necessary. And you'll see why in a bit. So one cable, one outlet, everything's connected. Let's power it up. There we go. Perfect. 
So now everything's powered up. Now, do bear in mind that we are still exposed to the elements. Uh, what you can do if you want, and I'll show you the next section. It doesn't really help, as you can see, the air cons. It works better if you have it enclosed, but if you're not that bothered about it, and you've got another way of dealing with the radiation and elements out here, that's fine. You can economize, no biggie. Okay. So everything seems to be perfect. I've got plenty of space to move around. I'm going to try out different suits, as you can see, with the hazard suit, which is unlocked on Aberration. You only get the radiation and not the heat as well. So prior to that, I had a tech suit. So we're going to finally close off the sensible bits, which are the generator and the refrigerator. This can be a bit derpy until we get the right snapping point. There we go. And then we just put some ceilings on those walls that we placed up. Here we go. Now you can only do the sides if you want and leave this center open. It should protect your cannon once you've placed it. But I am going to go one step further and actually enclose it to show you guys my preferred design. Now obviously if you just do the sides where we just place the walls, you'll be protecting the generator and the refrigerator and maybe get a bit of insulation so to speak. And as you can see it can be a bit derpy when you place the ceilings. However, it is doable and with these ceilings I don't really want to. As you can see there is like a bit of a leeway where you can actually place them. Now I want to fully enclose it so that means I won't need the uh, ceilings that I have on the inside if I'm going to fully enclose it. it will just be in the way so I'll pick these right up. So I'm talking about the ones in the corners. That'll give me more room. Let's try and place this last ceiling. There we go. It can be derpy to place it and enclose it, but now we are fully enclosed. We are getting some protection from the radiation. And right here in the center we'll have the cannon, so that's the purpose for the hole. The ceilings out there will give us some protection from the Astro Cedar should it decide to bite or should it get too close. As we're going to fully enclose that, we're going to enclose that wall, pick up the ceiling, and then pick up both ceilings on either side. We don't need them. That was only for the purposes of protecting your more sensible bits, such as the aircon and the refrigerator. But I want to go with a fully encased trap uh, or taming skiff. And that's pretty much it for the skiff. Now the next thing we need to do is place down the cannon. With the cannon, there are two ways I recommend you place it. You either center it with this building that we are in or as close as possible to the rudder or the uh, driver's seating position. So that way if you're doing it solo you want to have the cannon close to you so you can access it as quick as possible. So I've got my cannon at the ready. Now Notice I am still cold, so might need to place a couple of more uh, air cons down. You can also place torches. I'll show you that in a bit. But if you've gone with air cons, I would normally just go with air cons all the way. So I will set up the torches first so you guys can see how these work. Now, the problem with torches is you will have to fuel them with something, either spark powder or wood. And, I mean, that works both ways. It does cost something to fuel, but you also, if you use wood, get charcoal back, which you can use to craft gunpowder. It's really up to you what you want to go for. I'm going to go with spark powder just for the purposes of showing this. 
Now, I still have an ice cube in my lower right corner. Let's place some spark powder and light this baby up. There we go. I've changed into a snowflake, so that means I'm not that cold. Because they are fairly close to each other and they have the air cons close to each other, uh, close to them, they do offer that added insulation. Now, do bear in mind, whilst you are inside this section or inside the skiff that you've just crafted you'll be protected when you're outside if you're in the sun you will be hot and you will take radiation damage however inside you won't take radiation damage and you should be well insulated from the cold as i said earlier i personally prefer to use the air cons they do the exact same thing and if you've already put air cons down then might as well just carry on with using air cons so this is the other variation to what i showed before do bear in mind when you place down the air con it will have the face normally facing the right side of your screen so you want to align it up and then spin it just having a look at how I place that one down so I can kind of have it symmetrical there we go so as you can see I'm already getting the snowflake animation I think I'm generally kind of out of range so you kind of want to have uh, two sets of air cons, two pairs of air cons on both the front and the back to keep you sort of insulated from the cold. Even if you are in the sun with the skiff and you are inside the uh, mini base, you will still be cold, so keep that in mind. And that is why we are placing down the air cons. We want to try and regulate the temperature in here. Because I put the ceilings at the front, that should push the well far enough so that when it does chomp down it should not damage the air cons very important right there we don't want to be building them over and over again and as you can see they don't have a lot of health either so that's pretty much it now i've placed my cannon at the center of the structure that i built on top of the skiff this is good if you're using two players if you're by yourself and planning on taming an Astro Cetus then I would place it as close as possible to the driver section or rudder section of the skiff so now time to show you this design in action the only difference from what you saw before is at the end as you can see I placed two walls on either end it makes no difference the idea was to simplify and uh, make sure that I don't jump off the skiff, but I actually find them to be a bit of a hindrance. You snag more, which is a bit annoying, so I wouldn't necessarily put it down. Okay, we have a bit of a problem right here, and that, as you can see, we have an asteroid shower, and I nearly got hit there. That is bad. So I'm going to go and hide behind some of these floating islands so that I don't get hit. I'm going to look for a good position right here. Oh, there's a Astro Cetus. So let's show you how this works. Now I'm going to do a mistake here deliberately so you guys can learn from it and not actually do the exact same mistake. I have aggroed the Astro Cetus with a long neck rifle. You can do that. I'm going to load up the cannon. Now I missed. So load it up again. I might need to raise the cannon, but I'm going to wait for it to come into the skiff. I have shot, and as you can see, the cannon and structures around have taken damage. It is not from the Astro Cetus, it is from the splash damage of the cannon. So that's why you don't want that to happen. If that does happen, just reverse the skiff far enough, then get off the skiff and fire the cannon once the Astro Cedars is directly in front of the skiff. And that's the way how you avoid that. 
you don't want to damage your skiff. I mean, you won't damage the skiff, but you will damage the structures, which does cost resources. That is pretty much it for this video. Join me in the next one where I will show you how to tame an Astrocetus. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Zethropia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.